Hello and welcome to this overview on how to review alerts within TAP. TAP alerts originate through three different areas, indicators, rules, and analytics. Indicators are simple facts about known bad behavior and can include malicious domains, IP addresses, and so on. Rules are built on our expert and incident response knowledge. You can use multiple things to build your rules, including lists, which are made of multiple indicators. Analytics is another way through which we alert. This will detect and qualify attacker behavior and is focused on non-malware activities such as lateral movement and exfiltration of stolen data. Alert notifications are received via email and can be modified by clicking on the avatar in the upper right portion of the screen and then choosing the appropriate settings feature below. High level alert details are presented immediately upon first login into the user interface. You can click on the respective hyperlink individually to receive more information about the alert itself or go to all alerts together. When reviewing all alerts, you can see we are presented immediately with a timeline and heat map of corresponding alerts. We can see that we can narrow in to each day individually and identify the severities of the alerts throughout that day. Severities are identified and assigned internally within FireEye and given to you as a customer with all of your alerts. You can tell that we have a critical severity, high, medium, and low severities. Also, we have multiple options to sift and sort through our data, including the status of the alert itself, the risk assigned to the alert, which also includes the severities, the origin, which is where the alert came from, whether that be through FireEye knowledge or rules and customer rules as well. Also, you can see we have many other options to sift and sort through our data. It is important to point out that we can group and ungroup multiple alerts and then do certain actions to them over on the right. A few of those include exporting data, as you can see, for other security tools, closing out and suppressing various alerts as well. The last thing to point out is that with individual alerts, we can also assign them to particular users within our environment, as shown below. Now we're going to take a closer look at an individual alert. As you can see, we're given a great amount of detail and context surrounding this alert that we can use to our advantage. Starting at the top, you can see we have risk, origin, what triggered the alert, the number of events surrounding the alert itself, and also a way to open up an investigation ticket. We can also suppress and close the alert out from here. The details below include such things as the created date, when the alert was last updated, state of the alert, and also the distinguisher or how the alert originated. We're given a thorough description, as you can see below, surrounding the alert and what it means to you and your organization. The Intel tab can be quite useful in understanding additional information and context around an alert. As you can see here, we are given the indicator again, characteristics about the alert, and other information. It's important to note that this icon here will rapidly identify a possible threat actor behind the alert itself. We can merely click on this icon and we are directed to the FireEye Intelligence Center, as you see before you. This is a great portal that gives useful information around adversaries and their tactics that they use. You can use this to your advantage when briefing others about the seriousness of certain events. We will now quickly review the events section within the details tab below. As you can see, there are two main areas within each event, one of which is raw data sent from our syslog feed and the other is the parsed or clean data that we have as well. There's a lot we can do with this, but it's important to note that with each event, we can review a thorough time wrinkle before and after an event as shown before you. It's also important to note that we can quickly pivot and investigate a search based on the parsed information that we have just by clicking and going. This concludes our video session on alerting within TAP. To review, we've covered where alerts originate, reviewing an alert, closing and suppressing alerts, opening an investigation, the FireEye Intelligence Center, and searching events around an alert itself. Thank you for watching.